Hey, how's it going today, Gemini? My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I really appreciated it. <laughs> I'm having a little problem talking this morning, probably because it's minus 40 something or other where I live and it's so incredibly cold. I can't even believe it. So anyway, um, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. If you do find yourself coming back over and over again, just sub subscribe to my channel so you can catch all my videos. I do um, daily energy card readings and I do weekly readings for all signs. <clears throat> so if you're finding my videos meaningful, go ahead and subscribe. So what I'm doing is a monthly reading for February. Um, these are general readings, guys. So hopefully it resonates 100% for you. If not, the advice here in the cards is for somebody else on the channel. So take what you think works for you and leave the rest. Um, I'm shuffling the Starman Tarot card. And I, um, I had a card fly out right away for you guys. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm not quite ready to be um, done shuffling. So these cards are, um, they were done in collaboration with David Bowie. So you're gonna see some of that come through in the artwork. So let me know what you think of the deck down below. Um, these are the first general reads I've done with them. Okay, so I'm good with the card shuffling. So the first card I have for you guys is the Ten of Pentacles, which is a really good start to your reading because this is, um, this is just an indication of overwhelming abundance. So you guys are in a, I'm seeing a frame of mind, like even if you're not um, materially, is that a word? Abundant, like if you're not like really flush with money or whatever, you're feeling abundant. And that is like where the law of attraction is concerned. That's how you attract abundance. But I think you're really enjoying um, happiness right now, like pretty much all the way around. You're waking up and I think um, being really devoted to your spiritual practice right now, whatever that might be, it could be just um, meditating or like going to church, whatever faith you belong to and just feeling really connected to yourself. And as a result, you're feeling really just happy. You've got this really up vibe to you. You're like, I think you're a real pleasure to be around right now, which is a huge compliment. So I pulled a second card. I'm just gonna keep going with cards here as we go. So I've pulled the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is somebody that is a really, like a high achieving, high attaining person. Um, like really like a bright and cheery person, but they're doing so in a really thoughtful way. When you see the swords, it's related to your thought processes and um, how your mind works and stuff like that. So I think you guys, a lot of you are on a, a spiritual journey, like a spiritual awakening, whatever that looks like for you. And you're doing it in a really thoughtful way, like you're looking at what matters to you and incorporating that into your daily lifestyle. I see some of you, like you're focusing your diet around that, like what you put into your body um, to make you like function at a higher level that will resonate with where you are in your spiritual life right now. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating with you guys because it, it does matter to me when I pull these cards. So uh, you guys, I pulled the sun here next. So the sun is like the most powerful um, thing in our universe. Without the sun, none of us would be here, right? So everything grows under the sun. And I think you guys are just really stepping into your personal power at this point in your life. The sun is representing how you are feeling right now. Um, And some of you might not have started on this journey yet. So I see you could be like my viewers, you could be somewhere along this journey. So if you are considering a spiritual path, it looks like you, you could do very, very well at it. This could be the right time in your life to start that. Like some of you could be on an ascension path 
And I think this, this message is to tell you guys that you are um, following the right path, like in what you're doing. Wow, you guys are just getting these amazingly powerful cards. So this card is the strength card. And like the universe is just sending you guys so much strength right now. Whatever it is that you're doing, the universe is responding to you. It's coming back to you and like you're seeing all these synchronicities and like you're feeling exactly like the Ten of Pentacles um, because you're in this vibe of give and receive and it, you're doing so with such intention like it's not an accident with the queen of swords like you're deliberately following a path like oh, this card is so beautiful you guys like this is how you are walking your path right now and if you haven't started yet like you can envision that you are walking your path like that I think some of you are following following a real calling here. And if it's scaring you, I think that is probably why you turned into this video um, to know that there's no need to be afraid when you start this path. Um, amazing. Here, let me keep pulling cards for you guys. Hmm interesting okay so like again for you guys that may just be starting along your path this is the devil card so this has come to us like i need to check out this artwork you guys because I, I just find it so stunning um the devil card isn't you know it isn't a notification that you're going straight to hell or, you know, it's not, it's not anything like that at all. What this is saying is there might be some sort of habit in your life right now <clears throat> that is getting in the way of like a, a clean living, like for your spirit. Um, and this could be something as simple as negative thinking or gossiping. You know, because those are not like a nurturing way of behaving. And if you believe in the law of attraction and karma and reaping what you sow, you, you don't want that sort of negativity to resonate from you because that's what you will attract. So, but it could be something like an addiction. It could be anything. And if you are watching this and you feel like there's an impediment to your spiritual growth, and the devil card comes up and says, you need to stop whatever habit or, you know, um, you already know what that is. So if you're watching this reading, your spirit guides are asking you to maybe modify or look at a different way of doing things. But I do see, like, I get the word sarcasm here for some of you, I think which can come across sometimes as being mean-spirited. So you could be unintentionally hurting people's feelings. And then when they say, you know, hey, you know, that was a little rough, you're kind of like blowing it off like, oh, I was just trying to be funny. You need to listen to the feedback you're getting, okay? With the double card, you need to, to listen to that and sort of... Um, flip that around like how would I feel if if I ask somebody to maybe speak a little bit more kindly to me and they were like eh, whatever you know how would that feel right so that's what that card is all about um so I have the six of wands for you next so six wands is about somebody like really striding forward um victoriously and basically the whole world the whole universe your spirit guides everything is behind you um and around you um congratulating you and giving you so much love right now uh if you're not feeling like that you might want to call on your spirit guides and your angels and archangels so you can feel that if you've never done it before like angels are non-denominational and everybody has a dedicated spirit guide that travels through um, their lifetime. All you have to do is ask them for help. 
Like I talk to my guides constantly asking for help or just to know that they're there. Um, it, it's really just as simple as being in conversation with your spirit guides. Like some people make a really ritualistic thing out of it, but um, like my, um, like what you would call my worship, because I'm a really deeply spiritual person, is more a matter of fact, like because I'm an Aries and I don't do a lot of frills like but I do have conversation and I I named my spirit guide because I can't pronounce his name and I get the sense that he is not a huge fan of it but um like you'll know when they're there you know and you can also like YouTube talking to your spirit guides and all of that stuff so like if you're new on this path it might be really helpful to you and you could ask if you're not aware of what it is that you need to change um, or modify or get better at, ask your your personal spirit guides and angels, like, what do I need to work on? And you'll get that sense in your head. You'll, you'll see words in your head and that's them. That is them advising you, so. Okay, so the next card I have for you is the Prince of Wands. So, um, Uh, sorry, I had to go on a pause because um, my dog has was having a bit of a um, bark fest. So anyway, guys, the Prince of Wands is here to you um, to give energy that you guys could be actually relocating somewhere that is where you see yourself at your highest level of spirituality, or you could be traveling somewhere, you could be going on a retreat, um, like a yoga or meditation or whatever. There's so many ways to like raise your vibration out there. But I see some of you are definitely working towards this and you could either be traveling somewhere for, like I said, a retreat, or you're going to move somewhere that you feel um, would, increase your vibration where you would better be able to serve the universe, right? So um, I definitely see this for a lot of um, earth angels, um, light workers, if, if you're a Gemini and you're a light worker, uh, you know, you could be a light warrior, you could be any sort of those um, people walking the earth to intentionally raise the vibration of the planet of the universe so if you don't know what any of this means but you have stumbled across this video it could be your call um so you could you're welcome to do your own research uh and it it's a pretty interesting journey you guys so i really hope that people out there um this is making sense and resonating and helping you on your journey because this is a really important message i believe for people out there um, you Gemini. So um, I'll leave it there for you guys and just really stay blessed on your journey. If this is you, let me know in the comments if this is you because like um, I'm a light worker and, and this is this is my sole purpose. So it really means a lot to me um, if you're joining me for your journey and um, taking sort of any guidance from me. Um, so I feel like I'm going to start crying. So I'm just going to leave it there, you guys, and stay super blessed. And I love you all and take care for now. Okay, bye, bye.